Hello, NXT Instagram. How, how are we? It's Thursday. I'm here. Andy Shepard with you. That means, of course, it's NXT UK day on the WWE Network tonight. 8 o'clock here in the UK. That's 3 o'clock Eastern Time. A brand new episode of NXT UK is going to be with you tonight. Our superstars select some of their favorite matches of all time. What kind of picks are we going to get? Well, you're going to have to tune in to see. But tonight... Ahead of NXT UK, I'm going to be joined by the newest addition to the NXT UK roster. The first female to ever be signed. Sorry, first French female to ever be signed by WWE. It's Amel. So, without further ado, let's see if Miss Amel is with us, ready to have a chat. Will the power of the internet connect me? Here we go. Hey, bonjour. How are bonjour. you? <laughs> I, I wish I'd done better in my French Shisha season. I, I could have I could have conversed with you a little bit more in French. But hey, how are you, Amel? How how are things going? How have you been how have you been dealing with lockdown? Because this is gonna be the first time um, a lot of our NXT universe will have heard from you during this time. Yeah, um lockdown has been a difficult time for me because I wasn't able to, to train and to, to wrestle, but I used this time to spend as much time as possible with my family because in a regular basis, uh, I'm away from home a lot. I don't see them a lot, so I just stay with them. And now I've talked to a lot of the NXT UK superstars over the last few weeks here on Instagram Live. And I think they're all trying to find this silver lining during this lockdown because, you know, you all compete so much. There is no off-season with sports entertainment. So you say you've been spending time with your family, but have you also been able to use this time to kind of heal up any injuries, to kind of refocus? I, I'm I'm lucky enough. I ha- never have been uh, really injured, so my body's feeling fine. I just can't wait to go back to work, really. And we can't wait to see you back in, inside the ring. But there's obviously been a lot of noise around you the past few weeks. Um, everyone's realised that you are the newest addition to the NXT UK roster. How does that feel just to now be a part of, of the WWE universe, but also to be the first French female signed by the company? It's just an amazing feeling. I mean, it's my childhood dream. And being the very first one uh, in France, it's just unbelievable. Um, but I know this is just the beginning. There's way more to come, and I can't wait to make it through again. So, look, I, I know a lot of the NXT and uh, WWE universe want to know more about you. I've seen the comments. Uh, we put a post up early today. People are very excited to hear from you. It's fantastic. So, for those who, who don't perhaps know your story just yet, let's talk about your, your journey to um, NXT UK. So tell us a bit about your background and, and how you found yourself part of the, the fastest growing brand in sports entertainment. Um, I was watching wrestling when I was younger with my, my, my father and my brothers. And I just like, I was like, this is what I want to do. Uh, so I told my parents I want to be a wrestler. I wanted to be a wrestler. And my mom looked at me and she told me, girl, you better go to law school. Oh, I'm going to kick your butt. It's, it's not going to be fake. So I went to law school and then I started training and traveling around France. But unfortunately, it didn't work for me in France. Um, and I had a really bad time. Like it was two years ago. I was about to quit wrestling. Uh, I felt very bad. And um, wrestling was everything for me. So I didn't feel very good. And at that time, I received a, an email from WWE um, calling me for a tryout in Germany. And I felt like this uh, literally saved my life because it gave me a purpose. And after the tryout, I went to Germany. Uh, I wanted to give all for wrestling. And I started with WXW. And this is where everything started with NXT UK. Well, let's talk about WXW because, of course, uh, this past weekend, uh, some content from WXW has been added to the WWE Network. And, of course, you're part of that content. So now fans who want to know more about you can go back and, and see some of your work. Let's talk about WXW. Um, how, how has your experience been there and, and how much did that, that promotion mean to you in terms of getting you where you are? 
uh, I really feel like I wouldn't be where I am today without them. They really gave me my chance. Uh, they showcased me. Um, they put me against amazing talents, and I beat them all. By the way, uh, I am the longest reigning WXW Women's Champion ever. So I feel very grateful. And I'm very happy that uh, you can guys now see uh, WXW on the WWE Network. That's amazing. Um, and of course, as you said, you're the longest reigning WXW Women's Champion. So you know what it's like to hold gold. So now you are officially part of the NXT UK roster. Let's talk about where your sights lay when we do eventually get back inside the squared circle? Um, I would like to... My focus will be on the NXT UK Women's Division. They, they really need hope, and I will be the hope. I will give everybody reason to watch NXT UK. And when I will be done, people all over the world and superstars all over the brand will look up to my division. Um, by the way, guys, if you're watching and you want to ask Amel a question, please do get them in. Uh, we're going to be asking her your questions in just a few minutes' time. In fact, I've got one already. I mean, it's more of a statement than a question. Um, it's, I'm always bad with the Instagram names. I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. But it's RN Mortega. I hope I've said that right. Um, and she says, he says, uh, I hope she can beat Kaylee Ray and become the NXT UK Women's Champion. Look, Amel, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been a part of the brand since the start. And... Since you were announced as part of the roster, just looking in the comments on Instagram, on, on, on Twitter, there's a lot of support for you. How does that yeah, feel? Yeah, that's, that's an amazing feeling. Uh, I mean, I'm the first French, and I think they really needed uh, someone to represent them. So I will be honored to represent them, and I will do my best. How does it feel? Because, again, you are coming in not only with a lot of attention around you, but also you, you are the first French female to be signed by WWE. That's a, that's a really big thing. Do you feel, do you think, any, any additional pressure on your shoulders coming in and, and representing an entire nation? Uh, yeah, there is a pressure, but this is my job, so I'm going to do whatever I have to do to make them proud. I've got some more questions coming in for you. We've got one. Again, I can't say these names. I'm so sorry if this is your question. It's... Chloros25. I think I got that one. Um, what is your dream match? Um, I, I really look up to Mika James growing up and just to know that she's still here and maybe one day I'll be able to face her. This is just inspiring. And yeah, she's, she's my dream match, I guess. Let's talk about, about you growing up as well, because you tweeted recently a picture, and I can relate to this, because I've got a few of these pictures myself, of you at a, a WWE event, holding a sign. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, was it saying WWE sign me, or, or something along those words? Yeah, it was like, I wrestle high on me. The, this is just unbelievable. If you have, someone had told me that day that eight years later I will be signed, actually signed by WWE, I would just have laughed at them. Um, but that time he wasn't meant, he was just meant to get attention. Me and my friends on the, on the picture wanted to be on www.com pictures and it worked out. I remember that day, uh, the Miz coming at me during the show and just yelling at me, uh, talking <laughs> trash, and then just posing with me uh, for, the, for a picture. So yeah, that was amazing. At that time, I didn't believe that would be possible, but here I am today. It is. Everything is possible. And again, I think so many superstars can relate to that. That you know, everyone who works for this brand has at some point been to a, a WWE show, and and now I think being able to work with the company, everyone pinches themselves. So for yourself, when you when you finally got given that contract, how did it feel to to have gone from that moment as a fan holding a sign saying, "Hey, sign me," just so you could get on WWE.com, to being a a real superstar. That's that's an amazing feeling. I was like, I call my mom and I say, oh, I did it. That's <laughs> that's unbelievable. And uh, yeah. Amazing, amazing. Let's go back to some of your inspirations growing up. You said Mickey James there as well. Who else were people, who else, which other superstars kind of drew you into this world? Uh, yeah, Mickey James was very, like, really the main one, and Lita, Trish, 
Uh, today, I really look up to Ali. Uh, I am um, impressed by people that you don't expect them to be where they are. And I think he's one of them. He was on, He started with the Kushere Classic. He wasn't even meant to be on the tournament. He was a replacement. And then he ended up in the main roster. Now he's fighting inside the ring. He's fighting outside of the ring against stereotypes. And that's just imp impressive. And just to leave back, sorry, my sister is pregnant and she's going to name her son Ali. Oh, really? Yeah. That's amazing. That's it amazing. Is. But I can see all the comments coming through, guys. There's, there is a lot, a lot of French. There. My God. There's, a, there's a lot of French people watching this. Talk to us. How is wrestling, is sports entertainment big in France? Is there, you know, is, there's a lot of fans there, I would see. Yeah, there's a lot of fans, but the wrestling scene is very, very small. We don't have a lot of schools to train. That's why we need to go outside of France to train. And I think they really needed someone to represent them. And you can see them. They are, they're just amazing. And do you think someone like yourself is going to now open the doors? You call yourself the French Hope. I mean, are you thinking you're going to give hope to now that entire country to, to open up? We've seen the same thing, though. Know, UK has produced so much talent. Australia is producing some great talent. Germany. Do you think that France could be the next destination to, to really light sports entertainment on fire? I mean, I'm here to give hope. If I can give hope to friends, that's exactly what I'm here for. And yeah, they just needed someone. I'm here for them now, so it's going to be okay. Amazing. I, I can't wait to see you back in action. Got some and, more questions. Oh, go on. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I hope this, I can open the door also for more superstars in the company in the future. Amazing. Uh, we've got some more questions coming here. We've got one from, this is an easier, easier name, Violet Marie. Uh, how did you decide on your finishing move? Um, I wanted to use something that I can use on everybody, like every size and something that I can do quickly. So that's how I found my finisher. Now, when you look up and down the women's division, it's so competitive right now. Um, who have you got your eyes on? Who would you love to step into the ring with first when we do eventually get back? Is there anyone who, who's in your sights? I mean, I would like to face everyone. And you know, the difference between the NXT UK women's division and I is that, that I am hungry. I, all my life, I have to work twice harder than anyone to get what I want. And now that I'm here, I'm here to stay. But of course, Kelly Ray, I don't want to spoil anyone, but you know what's going to happen. And long term, what would you love to, to achieve in the WWE universe? Have you dared to dream? Where are you going to get to? I am a very realistic person, so I don't see too far, but I would love to, to go to Orlando to face people there. Uh, there's a lot of am amazing talents there. So, yeah, if we can get there, that would be amazing. And that's one of the cool things about the NXT universe right now. There's, there's, well, before we were locked down, there's a lot of back and forth between these two brands, a lot of fluidity, which I think makes some really cool match choices. Um, now... Again, this is the longest you've been out of the ring for. How much are you looking forward to getting back to action? You must be um, very excited to get back into the ring at some point. Yeah, I'm very, very excited. I can't wait to. I feel like this time uh, I made me realize that I'm nothing without wrestling. This is all I want to do. So, yeah, I cannot wait to go back to work, really. Look, Amel, look, thank you so much for joining us. Um, NXT UK is on in 50 minutes. We're going to let everyone go and get set for a great episode tonight. Amel, as I said, I cannot wait to see you back in action. Um, I'm sure the NXT UK universe can't wait to see you in action as well. Thank you so much for your time. Merci, merci beaucoup tout le monde. Au revoir, à bientôt. N'oubliez pas de regarder NXT UK sur le WWE Network. Take care. Bye. So there she is. Amel, the, the newest addition to the NXT UK roster. Remember, you can see NXT UK tonight in just in 15 minutes. We're going to be on the WWE Network. That's 8 o'clock here in the UK, 3 o'clock Eastern time. Um, but for me, Andy Shepard, I'll be back with you next week right here on Instagram. But for now, take care and stay safe.